design colleges are great places to find out how inventors come up with ideas. Like this one, the Royal College of Art in Kensington, London. All these different things are works in progress from students at the college. Around me are absolutely loads of brilliant inventions. I love them. And one of my favourites is here. This is a radio controlled pen. Let me show you. Here's my radio controller. And I can move the pen just by pushing the buttons here. I love it. Now, radio controls and coloured pens are not new but the way they're being used here is very inventive. So, what exactly is an invention? Now, sometimes inventing things isn't necessarily coming up with a completely new idea from scratch, is it? No, sometimes it's about watching how people use things. So, uh -huh. take this ketchup bottle, for example. Yeah. The very first person who turned this upside down was an inventor. They uh -huh. came up with a, a, a way of storing it where you're going to get all of the ketchup out yeah. at the end. But somebody somebody came up with a great idea of why not have a really large base so it naturally sits that way up. Um. And you're going to get all of your ketchup out. I think it's just observing people's behaviour and then thinking, well, how can I make this use easier? So, an invention can be adapting something that already exists. Benjamin Houghton has done just that with a toy teacup he's turned into a special bathroom plug. Now there's a plug over there, that's like an old style plug. Yeah, um, you would um, basically plug it in, Yeah. And, but it would be really hard to grip and that your chain would be probably broken. And sometimes you pull it out and it gets sucked back in, doesn't it? Yeah, and, and you just can't and you empty the bag. And you don't have enough time because the hot water, it really hurts. Yeah, so it's like, ow, ow, oh, ow, oh, and you're trying to get it out. So, what? go on. But if you use this instead. Shall we try it? Okay. Okay. So we just knock it, yeah? Yeah. Two, three, push it over, done. All the water, gone down, and that's my invention done. Oh, and brilliant. Give me dad. five for that. Inventions can also be making brilliant improvements to something that's part of our everyday lives. Like, for instance, the swimsuit. Sportswear inventor Fiona Fairhurst came up with a genius idea whilst watching the swimming at the 1996 Olympics. A new swimsuit had come out designed to make swimmers go faster. Looking at this new invention that, that Speedo had just launched and thought, I can do better than that, and the ideas started to flow. She came up with an idea for a swimsuit called Fast Skin, inspired by the way that sharks move through the water. Sharks have a very rough skin made up of tiny teeth-like structures. These help channel water very efficiently down its body. Fiona's Fast Skin was designed to mimic the shark's skin. I took a skin sample from a shark, put it under a very powerful microscope, I could see the lumpy and bumpy surface. It was completely the opposite of what I was expecting. I was expecting that it would be really smooth. So it was a real surprise to see these teeth-like structures. Like sticking out. Yeah, very V-like um, and zigzaggy and very rough. So have you got those lumps and bumps in your swimsuit then? Absolutely, you can see them. If we stretch oh, let's have a look. the fabric, you can see these grooves very finely. You, you can, they're just like tiny millimetres. Yes! And they channel the water, so from your head down to your feet, they just travel completely in straight lines. And because we used a hydrophobic coating, so hydrophobic, so it doesn't light water, it sort of repels water. Yeah, it's a bit like yeah, cagoule. Yeah, you can actually uh, hold it like this and you pour some on. Yeah. We can just get the beads of water to roll around on the surface. It just Whoa. sits on top. I want to see just how good Fiona's basket swimsuit is. So I'm going to swim one length of this pool in my ordinary costume and Fiona's going to tie me. Then. I'm going to try it in the fast skin swimsuit and see if I can do it any quicker. Now I'm swimming as fast as I possibly can. Ooh. 18 seconds. That's not bad, so I'm told. But can I go any faster? It 
feels really, it feels so strange. It's like, it's like I'm on a trampoline and I'm getting a bit more, you're getting so much more push. So how will the fast skin compare? Remember, those tiny grooves in the swimsuit fabric help channel the water more effectively down my body, so I should swim faster. Oh, how did I do? 18.25. Oh! <laughs> so my last one, 18.78. This one, I've got 18.25. So I've knocked off about half a second, which just for like a 25 meter pool, that's pretty good, and now I'm pretty tired. So an invention can be taking an object that already exists and adapting it, or improving it so much that it becomes brand new.